Hello again from my front porch. Uh, I, I am joined here today with uh, a very lovely lady uh, who also is incredibly, she's packing some guns. Oh. She, she is, she, she, uh, uh, you're going to hear more about that. But this is Melody Etch. Etch. At 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 a sketch at, at <laughs> Melody Ash. Now now what's interesting? We're 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 going to talk today. I, I I asked Melody if she would join me with this particular episode because mm -hmm. we're going to talk today about um, I don't know I'll, I'll call it a, a, a relationship reality or a, or yeah. or something. You know we'll, we'll probably figure out better wording for it than that. But but uh, relationships in general in in this mm -hmm. day and age yep. are weird. They are. They, 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 they've, they've changed. Be and, and we are case in point because um, <laughs> we've been friends on Facebook yes. for several years. A long time. Mm -hmm. However, I think I could count the number of times we have physically crossed paths, including today, on one hand. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> That's correct. <laughs> uh, and so... so uh, in, in the age of social media and social networking, yes. people like myself and, and like yourself who mm -hmm. actually enjoy the company of other people, yep. uh, we've become comfortable with having friendships in which you never see the other person. Yeah, yeah you never <laughs> meet them. Yeah. And it be, it's normal. Yeah. Yeah. We, it's we, so the, normal it's, it, I mean, 15, 20 years ago, if you'd have described that kind of, it'd been like, what, you mean like? pen pals? Mm -hmm. What do you mean like that? I mean, we had no frame of reference, but now it's just normal. It's yep. just the way it is. Yep. Uh, but but we evolve. We adapt to relationship things. Mm -hmm. and, and that, I think, is not a bad one yeah. because it means I have a whole lot of wonderful, awesome friends, even if I'm not hanging out with them all the time. <laughs> and who has the time to hang out with all of those people? That, that is another good point. <laughs> right? Another evolution of our current age is that yeah. nobody has time to do anything either. Yeah, so, exactly. Um, that's because we all spend all our time on Facebook yeah. talking with the friends that we don't have time to get it together with. That could be a harsh reality. <laughs> <laughs> that could be a harsh reality. Uh, but, but seriously, uh, what, what I wanted to talk about with Melody today is that we... Uh, she, she actually articulated recently on Facebook mm -hmm. what I would categorize as more of a darker a, adaptation that people make in relationships. Yep. Um, and, and I want to preface this by saying, and I'll probably say it more than once because I don't want anyone to misunderstand. If you're in a relationship, you will run into tough times. There will be struggles, mm -hmm. and and you commit to seeing it through if that's if, if that if that's the the relationship where you, where you want to go and and both parties involved need to be willing to compromise and do you know I, I'm not not discounting any any of that the, that that you you know the quote you do what it takes yeah. for the relationship. Yep. However, sometimes the do what it takes for a relationship is a is a bit abused. Yes. And 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 one person makes more of the change than mm -hmm. the other person does. And not only is that unfair, but it can be unhealthy. And mm -hmm. so, so this, this, I, I printed out here the, uh, the, the Facebook, uh, post that you, and this was just only about a week ago. It's just a week that, ago. That you yeah. shared this. Yep. Um, I, oh, before, before I do this, I should, for, for people who, who have not been friends of you for a number of years, right. you, you actually, uh, you have a history of, uh, I mean, you, you enjoy going to the gym, working out, yep bodybuilding you've actually competed yep. uh and and um, you've you've done very well yep. in those things you want you want to talk a little bit about that background of yourself sure sure so um i probably um i was in a really bad car wreck actually it was about 12 years ago and it hurt myself really really badly and it made me realize uh how um really short life could be <laughs> oh oh yeah one of those really, reality yeah, checks, yeah yeah and so and how the health of your body and your person um can be affected in in just an instant mm -hmm. and so taking care of yourself from from a long-term perspective um, not only good for relationships, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. not only good for relationships, but also just, um, good for just living a long, for longevity purposes mm -hmm. and yeah. just being able to function on a normal basis. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I think I approached it in the beginning as just like a way to lose weight and I wanted mm -hmm. to challenge myself, mm -hmm. but even the relationship that I've had with, um, 
lifting weights and bodybuilding has evolved yeah. since then. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, my goals have changed and fluctuated uh -huh. um, as I've progressed in that journey. Um, but yeah, it, uh, it's, it, it's definitely, I've definitely seen a lot of changes um, now that I, you know, once I, once I started um, getting into the world of lifting and competing and, and that sort of thing, um, I, uh, I, I made a, there was a lot of things that happened that I didn't expect to happen oh. with relationships. <laughs> Which, which I think is a good segue for me yes. to go back to what I was going to hear. Right. But, but see, I wanted you to share some of that because I realized before I got into this, people wouldn't necessarily understand yeah. some of the stuff that you say here because they didn't get, they don't know that context, right. that, that history. Right. So, so here we go. All right. The, the, there was, there used to be a radio show host who would do this all the time. I haven't I, looked back <laughs> at this, so. Uh, so. All right. Yeah. So I'm gonna, I asked her, do you want to read this or do you want me to read it? She goes, oh, you can read it. And I, like, okay, yeah, surprise. Here's what you said. Yeah, I know. Exactly. <laughs> all right. So she says, I'm so proud of myself. I set several very personal goals in April and per my usual self, I exceeded them. And that is not, I, I didn't take that as being arrogant. That is, that is her embracing that I had the power to do mm -hmm. this and I did this. Yep. Okay. yep. Uh, and I say that because I know her. So yeah. you, you don't. So I'm, I'm helping you <laughs> make sure. Don't, don't don't be listening to any of this and stuff and going, oh, she's pretty full of herself. No, no, that's not. She just has this mindset mm -hmm. that I, I want to achieve this goal and nothing is going to get in my way. Yep. Just going to do it. So that that's that's what you may hear, uh, right. the, the, the tone that you yep. may hear in some of this. Uh, my main goal lose relationship weight now some some people would say that's losing the other person in the relationship but exactly. that's not what she means no. <laughs> no. No. my main goal lose relationship weight dieting and dating are hard to do simultaneously that uh, and that actually is a profound statement it mm -hmm. really is i tried for years so when i finally met my boyfriend I knew now. This is not your current boyfriend. This is my current. Oh, boyfriend. this is your current. Okay. Mm -hmm. When I when I finally met my current my, my boyfriend, I knew I knew I was going to give in to all things dating. I decided to be like 99% of the population and just enjoy the dates, dinners, and drinks, and all the things he treated me to. Aww. I know mm. it was. Yeah. But 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 he probably treated you to a lot. He did. Uh -huh. He did. He would did. be very giving, very loving, very... Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to spend my time having a good time mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. understanding how it would evolve, that yeah. relationship and, would evolve. And that's not in and of itself a bad thing. Mm -hmm. And being very open to that. Yeah. 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 That was my goal. Mm -hmm. While it was fun... It was. As I segue back <laughs> to the... No. While it was fun, I lost a bit of myself along the way. The part of me that loves staying healthy, even though it's so hard... My marriage ended years ago when I started taking care of myself and he resented me for it. He even worked against me. Absolute zero caps mm -hmm. support. Mm -hmm. I knew that I could do this. Still travel, have fun, and go on dates. I just had to alter my approach. So finding a balance was a part of my goal as well, but secretly I wanted to test my boyfriend to see how supportive he would be. Now, and you say, oh, that's just me. That's, no, because you've been through this I've been through with okay. somebody else mm -hmm. who was not supportive and that undermined everything about what you were trying to do for yourself. Right. Mm -hmm. And so, so now you're in this relationship where this, this, this boyfriend seems really, really yeah. nice, really great, but does he meet this litmus test? Does, yeah. does, does he reach yeah. it? So, so uh, see how supportive he is. Because long-term me loves this process. Turns out he was more supportive than my gym-going ex-husband, which is ironic. Ironic. Because your ex-husband, you, we were talking, you said your ex-husband, and you, you had similar gym goals. Right. Goals at the gym. Right. However, outside of the gym. You would never know. Yeah, there was, there was no support for that at all. No. No, that's, that, and that, that's just, I mean, that's just duplicitous. It, it didn't make sense. <laughs> yeah, yeah it doesn't like, make yeah. sense. I know, I still look <laughs> back on it, and I'm like, wow. But, so, back to, oh, by the way, what, what's your current boyfriend's name? Leroy. 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 Because yeah. because we should, Leroy deserves credit. He does. And so, so I want to make sure that we're not just calling him the boyfriend. The boyfriend. That he is Leroy. And listen to listen <laughs> listen to what we say about Leroy here. Um, uh, he was more supportive than my gym going ex husband, and I started to see him, Leroy, recognize and accept the patterns I was forming during this process. 
It's true love. And there's even little hearts. Uh, in the way I feel supported from him. I'm so proud of both of us navigating this together. Mm -hmm. And then she goes on to say, because, because you know, like Paul Harvey would say, but wait, there's more. Yeah. Or, or now page two. That's yeah. what he would say. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. now page two. <laughs> I won't say that you can't be healthy and date or be married, but we live in extremely unhealthy culture nationally. <laughs> That's, oh man, we could go on so many tangents on that one. Uh, right. <laughs> What some of us do on the daily to exceed our health goals isn't normal. Mm -hmm. uh, well, actually, I, I would only modify this to say... It's seen as normal. Yeah, that, that what should be normal... Isn't. Is not no what is normal is not being healthy. Yes, yeah. Um, uh, uh, which, again, could go off on that tangent. <laughs> and it's looked upon as abnormal. When what I'm doing are things everyone should do for health longevity, happiness. Right. I'm here happier, yep. healthier, smaller than when we met, <laughs> ready to amp those cows back up. Yeah. Next goal, loading. And yeah. then she put some stats as far as what she's going for, which I won't read because I don't even understand what they mean. <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> but but that's, that. I, I mean, I read that post and I was just like, Yes, I mean, no, I don't have the, I can't relate, mm -hmm. obviously I can't relate to the gym going, oh my God. <laughs> but the, uh, but, but still the, 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 what you, what you communicated there was mm -hmm. how you were in a marriage mm -hmm. with a partner who, you know, you're supposed to be till death was part, like, you know, right. we're, we're on this path together, you were this partner, but you have this passion, yep. this thing that appeals to you mm -hmm. and he is not there for you at all on yeah. that. But yeah. now yeah. you're in a relationship with Leroy, yeah. who uh, <laughs> who not only supports that, but is all on board for that. Yeah. It's totally support that. Support and that. and what a massive difference that makes, not just to your ability in the gym, but also the the dynamics of that relationship. Right, right. And I didn't even know what that looked like from a healthy perspective. Mm -hmm. I know what I look like from a mm -hmm. healthy perspective and being a single person. Yeah. But um, I was a little bit nervous when I started the school six months ago because yeah, I wanted to drop the weight that I mm -hmm. gained while we were going out and-, <laughs> and, and Whining and, and dining. Whining and dining. <laughs> and we really did. We did a whole lot of that and traveling and stuff, but um, I didn't really know what that was gonna look like. So I was a little bit nervous mm -hmm. going into the process and I tried yeah. to explain it to him, but yeah. Um, he was very, um, very excited to learn about what I was doing and how oh, I was really? doing it along so, the way. So he didn't so. just support you. No. He wanted you to share with him yeah. what was important to you and teach him yeah. about what that meant. Mm -hmm. um, so I follow macros, which is a big um, a big thing for me. I'm a huge proponent of, of that kind of thing. And so I can eat whatever I want as long mm -hmm. as it fits in that spectrum. Mm. And so he was really cool about, and he loves food. He's a foodie. Yeah. And he loves to go out to eat, and he loves a great, yeah. you know, Michelin dinner, right? Oh, like, yeah, oh. like a, the really, like, really yeah, expensive yeah. ones. He's not going to Chick Fil A. <laughs> no, he's going. No. We do love Chick Fil A. Oh no, that's that's yeah. good. But I mean, we're not talking about you know, we're not going to McDonald's. Right. We're not we're not even going to Olive Garden. <laughs> right, right, right. And so when I would make food for myself, he'd be like, I want to try what you're eating, and uh -huh. he would he would try it, and he'd be like, Wow amazingly really good and I'm yeah. like and it's still healthy and so and he's like wow and so the more he kind of asked questions mm -hmm. and asked to mm -hmm. kind of see what I was doing the more he kind of embraced it and now he goes to the gym with me and he never awesome. went to the gym before that's so awesome now he goes to the gym with me and he's like I don't know uh, before we go out, he was, he's always like, "What? Where are you at in your day? What kind of thing? What What are you in the mood for oh, eating? Oh. Like, what could you fit in?" Hey, and, hey, and if I say a, good... a steak and a potato, he gets so excited. Yeah, yeah. I, I was just sitting there thinking that's a, that's an interesting strategy these days because you know uh, the standard conversation from a lot of relationships is, "So you hungry? Yeah. You want to get something to eat? Yeah. What, what do you want? want? Yeah. What I don't know. I don't, I don't know. know. But see, he's got a different strategy. He's mm -hmm. asking. Okay, so where are you at in your program? What do you need for your, you know, so mm -hmm. what, what kind of food do you want? See, he's at, he's got better questions to help him zero in. Yeah. <laughs> no, and it took a little bit for him to understand. And he would always, in the beginning, he was, I think he was a little confused. 
um, and just like, well, I don't know what you can do, so you tell me what you want to do tonight. Yeah. And, I'm, and yeah. you know, I like, well, I really want tacos, but let's be realistic uh-huh. and go get a piece of fish or something <laughs> and go somewhere. Uh-huh. That has, yeah. So. And 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 he was okay with this. He was totally yeah. fine with it. Yeah. Yeah. So, as long as we got to spend time together. So. So what? Uh, um, this is not. I mean, this. <laughs> <laughs> may have to do a whole nother episode about you know healthy living with melody right. is that, uh, but but uh, but the 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 point of this episode is right. that is that about the 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 accommodations that we make in relationships right now Leroy obviously is making some accommodations towards you with it but it sounds like he likes these accommodations and he's embracing them that yeah. and it's not taking anything away from him it's it's actually adding yeah. to him in that sense um, but back to your your situation with your ex mm-hmm. that was one where where because of his lack of engagement his lack of support how did that impact what you were doing to keep yourself healthy um i didn't really i mean it it had a mental impact mm-hmm. on me more than anything else which i think is really overlooked in mm-hmm. a lot of relationships yep. um i felt like I was always like trying to climb a rope Mm -hmm. all the time and um I didn't have anyone kind of like helping Mm -hmm. me help pushing me up um but I realized it was a it was a defining moment in my life when I realized that I was going to either do this on my own or do it Mm -hmm. together and and I I communicated that we had a a discussion about that Mm -hmm. and while he he, he seemed to be okay with doing it together. It wasn't together. Yeah. It, was, it was very much um, a separate thing. And so I got more comfortable just mm-hmm. being alone and doing it on my own and um, really digging deep and figuring out, okay, what is it that I'm doing? Mm-hmm. What is it that I'm looking for? And how, how, how does my life look like going forward? So how would you, how, if, if you think about what your I'll say mental state, but but I, I, it, I mean it's bigger than that. It's, a, it's emotional state, psychological state. But, yeah. But but uh, if you think about your mental state mm-hmm. when you were still going to the gym, when your ex was not being supportive and you were almost in a combative yeah. scenario with continue versus now where you have Leroy who's like, hey, teach me, educate me, tell yeah. me, you know, yeah. what what how what is your mental state? How how are your mental states different? as you're now in both scenarios going to the gym. Oh, it's night and day. Uh, it's, it's a hundred percent night and day, but also I was still kind of figuring out who I was back then. Mm -hmm. And so I wasn't quite sure. So I was, I I wasn't quite aimless. I knew kind of where I wanted to be. Mm -hmm. Um, but I, my mental state was horrible. Mm -hmm. It was horrible. And that was something that I had to work on after Mm -hmm. my marriage. It's just kind of like, okay, (laughs) I don't have I don't have something else dragging mm-hmm. me down and and making it so that I, it's harder for me to hit my goals. Now I can do whatever it is that I want. Um, and so as I evolved through that process and mm-hmm. bodybuilding and mm-hmm. taking on more physical mm-hmm. and health challenges, I learned more about who I was as a person and what Which my goals very were. Important. Yeah, and I the more I challenged myself, the more my outside relationships completely evolved. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. one of the thing I think the thi- one of the most surprising things is when you take on a challenge or take on a personal um, goal and you really focus hard on it, your um, your sphere changes. Mm-hmm. The people in your yep. sphere, the people outside of your sphere. Um, it was really shocking to me how many people weren't in my corner. Really? Yeah, because. You're not engaging in alcohol. You're not engaging oh, in going cause, out and cause drinking. because you, 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 you aren't doing the activities that they knew you for doing. Yes. And so because you changed and they were like, they well, did not want me. I don't to know change. what to do with you now. Yeah. Yeah. So they became disinterested. And so my, my, even my friendships evolved wow. and I became a lot more closer to people that were doing the same things that I was doing, mm. like people at the gym or, um, but and, and I don't think people realize this, mm-hmm. but like when it comes to getting yourself like mentally well or physically well, mm-hmm. or even recovering from addiction, your whole circle and all of your relationships will drastically change based on the fact that you are becoming a new person. Yeah. And so, and, and I know it's kind of cliche, but they say that you are 
the average of the five people you spend your most most of your time yeah. with. And yeah, so it's a, very. I, oh, hold on, <laughs> hold on. I have, to, I have to think about who the five people I spend time with. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> Mostly my dog. <laughs> so I want to be more like my dog, probably just a little bit more loving, total chill. But um, but you really do, and you, and it's shocking. Um, even though you're always going to have the the relationships of the people that are related to you, they're mm -hmm. going to look at you differently and see you differently. And mm -hmm. um, it's not right away. And, and, and some people will leave your life entirely, mm -hmm. um, such as my marriage, mm -hmm. where they maybe don't respect you or they resent you for the new person that yep. you've become. And I think that's really difficult for people to understand. Well, and so whether it's whether it's the direct relationship with the with mm -hmm. the, the, the significant other, mm -hmm. uh, the the friendships, you know, yep. the, the, the you're describing, and that's a really good point about that. Uh, sometimes it's even just coworkers or other yep. other other people in your life for for more acquaintanceship mm -hmm. kind of reason, whatever. But um, they're the those people have issues, and they 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 start. Let, but the difficulty comes in with when the person mm -hmm. that's in the center of that starts to see those people pulling away. Yeah, it's Star hard. Starts to see that drifting away. There is a temptation to then not be true to yourself. Yep. To give in, to do what the others are expecting you to do. Yep. To behave the way others want you to behave mm. so that you can keep that circle intact. Yeah. But by doing that, you deny yourself. Yep. You, you, you say to yourself, nope, nope, I uh, just, uh, yeah, 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 I really, that's important to me, but uh, not today. I'll, I'll do that tomorrow. Right. Do and I think it's natural for people to be like, oh, you know, you go out maybe with a friend group mm -hmm. and they're used to yep. maybe you having a couple cocktails or mm -hmm. glasses of wine yep. and you decide that you're going to do that in that setting because you want to retain those friendships. Mm -hmm. Um, but I think the big, um, the big like driver for people is after the fact you wake up, maybe the next day you don't feel so hot. Mm -hmm. You don't feel so great. And maybe yeah. you, you feel like you've let yourself down because you didn't mm -hmm. follow the parameters that you were setting for your, yeah. for your, for your outings or, or being social. Um, and that even can be a wake up mm -hmm. call to say, okay, all right, that didn't work for me, and I, now I need to make some changes going mm -hmm. forward. Um, and maybe I don't need to hang out yeah. with those people anymore. Like, well, <laughs> and that, that's the, the comment you were making before about you know the uh, you know uh, friendships that you know, well they they wanted me to do this they didn't want to be it's 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 not it's not happy mm -hmm. um, but but it if we're talking health over happiness right because ultimately. Happiness is, is fading. It's an emotion-driven thing. Right. But health, that determines how long you're even on the planet. Right. You know? And right. so uh, sometimes it is healthier to let the person go it is. or the group go that, mm -hmm. that you've been close to even. Yeah. Because now that you have a set this direction for mm -hmm. this is who I am, this is what I want to pursue, yeah. if they're not along for the ride, you got to let them go. Right. Yeah, and you do, and that sucks, and it's mm. really hard, yep. and it's very sad. And it's sometimes. very hard, though, again, for a lot of people to do that mm -hmm. because, and and we in the Midwest, we we suffer from this this uh, uh, it's ingrained into us from birth that we're supposed to be nice to everybody, yes. you know, and 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 that we're we're not supposed to be confrontational, yep. and we're not supposed to stir things up, especially as a female. Oh yeah, especially as a female. Especially yeah, as yeah. A female, yeah. Uh, but I mean, even like, because uh, you know, I work in the corporate world, and uh, there are times where you know it's the okay, well now you got to talk about yourself, or you got to brag about yourself, and so I'm I'm really bad at that. Yeah. Not not that I'm bad at what I do, yeah. I'm really bad at telling other people how great I am at it. Right. Because, no, no, that's just, no, we don't do that. That's yeah. not, yeah. Um, the same thing comes to play here, though. Yeah. When you start talking about, I want to, Melody says, I'm doing this. I'm focusing on this for yeah. my life. And she has some of her, her friends who have been in her circle go, oh, come on, you can just do this. Oh, come on, you mm -hmm. just do it. Yep. Just one bite. Yeah. Just one drink. It, it is so easy for us just to give in. in. <laughs> so easy for us to give in yeah. and go, okay, this one time. It's so, so easy. Mm -hmm. And it's so mm -hmm. easy when you're in the moment and you're just like, you have to make that split decision. Mm -hmm. um, 
but it's also understanding what those triggers are mm -hmm. and in different relationships you will have different triggers mm -hmm. yeah um based on the people that you're hanging out with and just maybe being prepared for that when mm -hmm. you go into those scenarios mm -hmm. and knowing okay if i am approached with this scenario i have option a and i have option mm -hmm. b and mm -hmm. what am i ready to do um and also being okay with the fact that if just because you s the 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 word no is only a two letter word, right? It, it's not a bad word. It's not a bad word. <laughs> it's not a bad word. And when you say no, it's not um it's not an insult, and it's not um it's not it doesn't mm. have to be negative. Uh -huh. Um, and it's it's oftentimes not personal. It's not personal. <laughs> no, because when, when I realized that if I said no to certain scenarios, I was really saying yes to myself and yes to my goals and Ooh. yes to my first future. Ooh, yeah, that's, and that's so, a, good, a good flip of the mentality. Yeah, yeah, and so, and that takes a while to get there. Mm -hmm. It took me a few years to get there to understand that like, saying no to certain things that were maybe that had formed negative patterns in my life was okay. Mm -hmm. I was okay to say no to people mm -hmm. and patterns mm -hmm. and scenarios because I was saying yes to the things that meant mm -hmm. something to me yeah. personally. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Well, uh, I, I, for one, I'm glad she didn't say no to coming to the front porch. Um, yeah, I'm the, so happy to be yeah, here. No, no, because this, this is this is a really great. Uh, I mean, as I, as I, as I was telling her before, um, I, I this is a topic that I've been wanting mm -hmm. to to share, discuss. But you know, I, I I I don't know. Maybe it's that Midwestern mentality then too. But uh, you know, I, I've been reluctant to just sit here as I do with some topics, and it's just. Paul talk about blah blah because it's like okay well Paul Paul was married almost 27 years but he's divorced he's been in a couple of relationships since yeah. eight months four and a half years each but the point is those are all was <laughs> yeah none, none of those so what business does Paul have talking about relationships right. well you know I mean you do learn some lessons from that but yeah on on this topic of of how we adapt and how we bob and weave and how we mm -hmm. how we shelve parts of ourself to accommodate this I know <laughs> yeah. but but still I didn't want it to just be me to, and so when it's a scary thing when, when you when posted you, this yeah I thought now again the context is is working out but still what you shared yeah. what 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 you expressed and and what you illustrated mm -hmm. by comparing the two relationships I just felt like went right to the heart of, yeah. of, of what this this topic is about again I'm not saying don't work on relationships <laughs> yeah. right, right. but 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 of making sure you know who you are making well, sure you know what is it that yeah. drives me so that I can I can keep pushing that and 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 there's absolutely nothing wrong with expecting whoever's with you to want or to, to want you to succeed in that yeah, yeah you would hope that everyone in your circle wants you to succeed but um, the reality is is that not everybody does yeah and, and that and that and that kind of sucks to to realize um and you won't know it till you're there yeah you really don't you you think everybody in your corner is going to be in your corner but they're yeah, really yeah. They, they probably won't be um and that is the harsh reality of it but it's also really knowing who you are as a person mm -hmm. and being confident and comfortable with who you are as a person mm -hmm. because it's not easy to say no yeah. to other people yeah. it's yeah. not easy to say no unless you have the confidence and you understand kind of where you're going. And my journey has evolved. And when I say you can't date and diet at the same time, mm -hmm. believe me, I tried for <laughs> 10 years. I tried to do all of that. And even the people who really wanted to get to know me or go on a date with uh -huh. me, they were working against me as yeah. well too. Yeah. Like, oh, what do you mean you can't have tacos? Yeah. And I'm like, well, tacos. well, you know, yeah. <laughs> and, and speaking as a single guy, I can understand that because like, okay, yeah. uh, uh, you know, if I were asking you out, which I'm not, Leroy, don't don't get upset. <laughs> uh, but but if if I were asking you out, mm -hmm. uh, what I ask you to do, what do we? Uh, yeah. cause, because the the traditional cliche things are, let's go out to dinner. Let's go out for drinks. Let's go out. For, let's go out mm -hmm. for drinks. Let's mm -hmm. go. Uh, you know what? I that's it's a really bad first date things you want to talk. But but I I enjoy date night going to Flick's Brew House. I know, to, to watch a movie because you get that. to watch the movie and then they have a menu and they bring you the food. Yeah. But again. It's the food and the drinks. Yeah. And it's like, okay, and yeah. Then, but <laughs> and don't get me wrong. We've done that. We've mm. done that in, as I've gone through this journey, but we just make different choices while we're mm. there. So I may not have a cocktail, but mm. I might have like 
I might split a dessert with him instead. You might, so you might have a burger without a bun. A burger without a bun or a <laughs> salad or something like that. But there's there's always another option. And but you, but, but for, I, uh, yeah. my point was I can I understand a lot of guys that would yeah, struggle with they well, struggle. The, 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 the cliche things that they would want to invite you out to mm-hmm. do. You'd be like, eh, I'm not really doing that. Right. What's wrong with you, man? You're high maintenance. What's yeah. the deal? Oh, yeah. yeah. I, I came across yeah. as very yeah. high maintenance <laughs> all the time. When in reality, I'm very low maintenance, yeah. but, um, but, yeah. uh, Leroy would be my next guest. In the last <laughs> year. No, no, I'm yeah, he'd, he'd say, he'd probably say it was high maintenance. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it was really hard. And, and people would be like, oh, I suppose you go to the gym and you like to spend your time at the gym all the time. And I'm mm-hmm. like, yeah, I do. And you can join me. Yeah. I, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm fine with that. Um, and, uh, just understanding, that you you know maybe you are um maybe in the beginning of a dating or any kind of relationship things are going to be a little bit tough and you got to kind of like give it a little bit extra um attention when you're when you're making decisions that maybe don't align with your goals Mm -hmm. but knowing you can get right back on track Mm -hmm. um a little bit later and and just making sure that the people around you are pretty comfortable Mm -hmm. with all of that so um but it's um, it's definitely uh, when you put yourself out there, like mm-hmm. I do on yeah. social media, yeah, and yeah, yeah. and when you put those statements out there, uh, um, you know, uh, you open yourself up for a little criticism mm-hmm. and a little scrutiny. Um, but again, I think that brought us together, yeah. and so now we are probably going to develop a better yeah. friendship now, now, um, now, based on now, just that. Now we've got yeah. this connection over. And not not over again, not over going to the gym, but of of of, uh, of but of this recognition of of relationships. Yeah. Uh, but you know that's the way it's supposed to be. And back to where we started this whole conversation. If this were a traditional friendship that we were hanging out together in person yeah. and stuff all the time, you know, some of the stuff we would have already probably discussed. But but at whatever point it came up, it would have formed a stronger bond at yeah. that point. And so so we've adapted the friendship scenario with the social media. Yep. Yeah. And yet there are still these opportunities that pop up that yep. bring that that connection closer together. So cool. Yeah. Yeah. So all right. Well, I th- this you. has been a wonderful conversation. I, I really feel I, I'm really I'm really trying to keep my 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 reins tight here because I just want to go off on this whole tangent about you know. Uh, uh, you know I, what, what was the term? Self-love is that what it used to yeah. be called? But 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 uh, but you know, self-perception, of self-confidence, self-identity. I mean, because, that is a whole because other that, that that is a whole other. <laughs> but but I mean, it's like you keep going right to the edge of that. When yeah. You're, and I'm just like, oh oh, I want to go there. Yeah, uh, yeah. But no no, I won't do we that. We can go there again. Part two. Part two. <laughs> yeah, there'll be another one. We'll do that. Uh, but and and then there'll be also another one where we we say and. and Here's here's Melody's uh, recommendations for you to have a successful workout. Here's <laughs> here's Melody's diet plans for you. No. Here's the, here's, <laughs> the whole series. No, <laughs> no, we don't need to do that. <laughs> uh, but but seriously though, I appreciate. Thanks yeah, for coming to the front porch today. And so much. and you all may have noticed that we're sitting here alone. You know that Mulder and McCoy are not sitting here. Uh, it's still October, but that's because uh, the two of them uh, there there wasn't room for us all. On, on the on the swing and so <laughs> so they decided to step behind the scenes yes. to call the shots over there right guys yeah they're the, they're the boss. yeah 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 oh well, yeah yeah they, they 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 don't look very happy they look, look pretty stone faced I don't know if they look like... <laughs> all right so with, well, thank, you, uh, thank you again for yeah. being here and with that uh, I I hope this has been very uplifting for you because it, it has been for me and and again the real the real message that 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 I want to I want to really just drive home from this and from the things we've talked about is um, uh, if you're in a relationship or you're looking to be in a relationship, uh, prioritize yourself. Yes. Uh, it's, 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 it, it, it doesn't mean that you're looking down on the relationship. It doesn't mean you're looking down on the other person. It means you are looking at yourself. Yes. You've got to know who you are. You've got to know what really drives you, what really interests you, what inspires you, mm-hmm. because because you need to be able to pursue that. Right. And and if you don't, if you let all of that just get pushed in the background, then you have no identity, you have no purpose, and you are just blowing around at the whims of mm-hmm. whatever the attitudes are of others around you. And and it's that's really depressing. Respecting yourself. Yeah. Respect, showing respect for yourself. Yeah. 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 So. So 
Maybe that's what I'll call this one. Respect yourself. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> but 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 seriously, that you know, here we, we sit here as two individuals who have have uh, uh, come to this awareness through some pain. Yeah. And and through some struggle and through yeah. through a lot of heartache. Um, and mm -hmm. and uh, we can tell you. Uh, it's a lot better if you don't do that. <laughs> yeah. You'll be a much happier person. Yes. Yeah, for real. <laughs> All right. So with that, yes. I'll let y'all go and I'll see you next time from my front porch.